going on, y'all? It's the Rick and Rip podcast, and um, well, I mean, if you if you've been checking our content out, we've been looking at our last video. <laughs> we made a uh, made a prediction. You know, we um, we we each chose a team in the NBA Finals, and we we said how many games we thought they was gonna win in, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go first, man. <laughs> Who'd you who you end up picking, and, and what were you saying? I don't got too much to say. Y'all heard me the first video. I said Celtics in five. I explained to them why the Celtics would win. They're too experienced. They got the they got they got the deeper team. They have man. I I, I even told them if one is having a bad game, the other stars and other person is gonna pick it up. Y'all see Luca can't beat the Celtics by himself. We don't know where Kyrie's at. Where, where's Kyrie? Bro. Where's Kyrie? I ain't Ky- seen Kyrie. He he was there in the first half. He was there in the first half. Where's yeah. Kyrie? He was there in the first half. I'm saying like that. Man, y'all heard me the first video. I don't got too much to say. I got to hear what he got to say about what's going on with his Mavericks. Luka going crazy. We already knew Luka was going to snap off and do what he got to do. But I told y'all, man, them other, them other players, they wasn't ready for the lights. This is their first finals ever. Kyrie's the only one that's been there. And he's not hooping for real. The what? Celtics been there. Drew Holiday got a ring. It been there before. This ain't nothing for them. It's going to be a quick series. First, let's take a step back. It, <laughs> it isn't my Mavericks. Bro. You... You see, you see, you see the banner that we got hanging down. I am a Lakers fan. I can care less who wins this series. I know people saying, "Oh, Lakers going, um, Celtics going to take all time champion." It don't matter. The NBA not ending in five years. Like the yeah, Lakers going to win one eventually. Like, I'm not tripping off of that. I don't. I could care less about about Luca, about Tatum, about any any of them. Yeah, but well, but let me yak then. But. I did have the Mavericks, and I, I'm, I'm gonna say why I had the Mavericks a little bit. You know, I, I truly believe. Um, I no, I don't think anybody expected Kyrie to have this bad of a season. Like that's like, and, and you you can say whatever you want about the defense. You know, the Celtics have an amazing defensive team. We all know that. We all know that. But Kyrie, standing at the six one that he is, has made a career, has made a Hall of Fame worthy career. Based on the fact that he is a tough shot maker and a tough shot taker, and he taking them, but he not making nothing. Like and, and and it's it's stuff that like yeah he's getting defended, but it, it's a normal contest sometimes. Like it, it's not not ordinary. Some you know, some of these shots he's not even getting rounded. I see. It. We gotta give credit to the Celtics, man. I told you about them dogs in the guard like, position. We all knew, I told you no, about size being no. thrown on them, like Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown is locked in. Jalen Brown's a hack. I don't oh care what. Jalen Brown is a hack, bro. He's a hater. Yo, he's a hater. Keep, look at the Jalen Brown. The left hand, checking I'm everybody. Hack. You know, everybody seen the best DJ player, clip. Not, he's a hack. Everybody yeah, seen, even seen the Kyrie clip where he said, "Uh, Jalen Brown locking him up." He fouled him four times on that same play, and then you got he he smacking people, but. Granted, they are a great defensive team. Like everybody knows that. It, it's the Celtics. The Celtics want to see for a reason. But I chose the Mavericks for the for the reason that the playoffs isn't just. It isn't an eighty-two games. The playoffs is not an eighty-two game series. The finals isn't an eighty-two game series. It is a seven game series. And I thought on the I thought with the way the 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 Mavericks were playing, with the the. Like they saw some really good defenses. They saw we Timberwolves, Thunder, the Clippers. They saw some pretty good defenses in front of them. And they seemingly handled it, you know. Like they, they Kyrie was Kyrie. Kyrie was a leader. Kyrie was shooting great, playing great. What well, they wasn't the Celtics. It, it isn't it the Celtics. The Celtics. It isn't the Celtics. Try to tell you that. But it was the number one defense in the NBA and in I the told, Minnesota I told Timberwolves. You about KP coming back and he's coming back and he looked good that first game. And what he's doing the same he game? Good. He's injured now. He's in, he second game, hobble. second he game, same game. He didn't do as much. And they still won. And, and they t- still Tatum won. shot horrible, and they still won. Like I said, what happened with this? No, you can say that because Tatum series. hasn't had a, a a Tatum series. The Tatum you see in the regular uh, season, the Tatum you see for eighty two games, something happens to him once the playoff starts. Because I, I mean, I was looking through it. I was looking through the series. So like the, the most the most Mavis? memorable series he's had in his career is his rookie series against LeBron. His most memorable playoff moment is him dunking on LeBron in a series they ain't even win. In which we all know that dunk was crazy, but it's like Tatum for some reason is, and I was going to get onto this a little bit later, but I guess we're going to talk about it now. Tatum is a player who has a discourse around his name that when the playoffs come around, his his game, his, his offense goes down a bit. You know, he doesn't play to the same level. Or like, have you seen a Tatum game in this playoffs? 
Had, can you remember? Uh, it was wasn't he, that one he, game. Um, he had to say no. He had the one game where they got, like they're a thirty point triple double. They they more. they closed off the pace when when the Pacers were coming back and they went to OT. He went absolutely insane at the end of the fourth in the OT. Yes, I can give him that. But like everyone remembers Tyrese Maxey's first round against the Knicks. Everybody remembers Jalen Brun Jalen Brunson's run that he has so far this season. These are like. Even 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 the the Pacers who got smacked by the Celtics, people even remember what Pascal Siakam did in that series. Siakam, I don't know what Pascal did in that series. He yeah, he was cooking. Are you crazy? <laughs> Pascal was cooking. Hey, and, and and there's so many players that we we've seen in these playoffs that like Anthony Davis in the first round. They didn't even, they didn't even play nothing but six games in the playoffs. People remember Anthony Davis's first round in this playoffs, but you can't. And granted. It is because the Celtics is a really good team. But whatever the case may be, we still the, – the Spurs had the same kind of da- dynamic, and I don't even know why I'm going around it. They had the same dynamic where they had a lot of players who could contribute a lot. A lot of players – we remember Kawhi Leonard's series against the Heat. You know, like, these are series to remember, players to remember, runs to remember. And Jalen – Jason Tatum has, has yet to have that. And that's not to say he's not a great player. It's not to say that Jalen Brown is the best player in the Celtics. Jason Tatum is the best player on the Boston Celtics. It's arguable. I don't think it's arguable, bro. Look, you, at, the run, look at the run JV's having. That's cool, bro. That, like, that's a, a series here. In a, listen, it's an 82-game season. Jason Tatum is the one making the All-NBA first team. Jason Tatum is the one dropping 30 points, about 10 rebounds. He is, the, at, I believe, the best playmaker on the team. You know, And granted, he's going to have his turnovers because he makes a wild play. He makes some wild passes where he's so deep in the paint, he tries to pass out, and it's going to be a turnover. But Jason Tatum, you know, what I wish I could see from Jason Tatum is just somebody who my Lakers were eliminated in the first round, and I just want to enjoy basketball at this point. I want to see a series from Tatum, bro. I'm tired. I saw I saw a possession last game where Derek Lively switched on to Jason Tatum with like 20 seconds left on the shot clock, 15 seconds left. You know what he did? Three dribbles, sidestep three. It should never be a point ever where Derek Lively is guarding Jason Tatum that it seemed like without even trying, he goes immediately into the side step three. Or he had Kyrie Irving driving him on the paint, and, and Jason Tatum rises up all crazy and then passes out to the corner. Jason, you need to uh, let people know who you are at some time because we all know how good you are. I just feel like Tatum don't got that dog in him. I've been saying that. He just don't, he don't got it in him, bro. He's super Listen. talented, but he doesn't. He doesn't want to be the top dog. I think he's content. He's cool. He's cool with the winning, and that, that's that's wanna... that's commendable. But like, you don't got that alpha mentality. Mentality. Jalen Brown going out and getting it. Yeah, Jalen Brown like, won it. He won it. He he getting it. Like we we I have memories of these past two games of him just meeting Luca at half court and taking the ball and slamming it, or him Brown who who did him. who did he dunk? I'm trying to think who he dunked. I can't even remember who he dunked. Or I'm not even gonna waste time thinking about it. But like we. Somebody else who, who has a series we can remember, Shea versus the Mavericks, even though they didn't Dirty win. Game. Listen, it's one thing about Shea, he's consistent with the 30, and we know that. And that's something we saw in that series. There were moments where we saw Shea Gilgis Alexander take over that series, you know, and, and, and help the Thunder as much as he could, which he wasn't getting much help from anybody else. And we're seeing that from Luka right now. But he ain't getting the help. What, look, look, I have something here written on the notes. It's crazy. He's still by far the best player in the series. Easy. But he, his team is Easy. just, they letting him down, man. Listen, in the notes, I had Josh Green with five dots. Just Josh Green, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Some of the ugliest threes I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen somebody so open yet miss that badly. Some And some of the shots he was taking. Like, it, it feels though, on his way up shooting, he knew he wasn't going to make it. Like, he took his sweet time with it, went up all slow, brick. While Luca over here driving into the paint behind the back, passing it across the court, just so you can get that open look. And I'm like, man, I like I, I know Josh Green to be a decent shooter. I watched some average this year. I've seen him hit some threes. But I think what 0 for 4 or for 5 today? A 40% three-point shooter? 38% three-point shooter? Bro, where's Kyrie? Where's Kyrie? Where's your boy Kyrie? Listen, bro, I, where he at? Where's Kyrie, I bro? I don't know where Kyrie at. We all know Kyrie. We we I feel like I didn't see more memes about more videos about Kyrie um saying the Celtics stadium ain't loud enough than I seen Kyrie highlights. I see more I see more 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 videos about his post game and his pre game instead of Kyrie highlights. And bro, Kyrie, you too good, bro. You told the Celtics guys we'll see them in game five, so 
He better turn up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't care about none right of that. If if you ain't hooping, you could say you could. That was like Anthony Edwards when he said he'll, he'll give Michael uh, Michael Parsons the shoes in Game Six, yeah. and they got him out of there before he can even go back. But no, I think Kyrie gonna have his game next game he's at home. Turn I think so. He has to. It's Kyrie, man. He's he unguardable. He just had a, he's just having a bad little stretch right now, but he'll be all right. Listen, but going back, but to even me. then, I still think the Celtics are gonna take this. I, I, like, I don't care. Like I'm Kyrie still, and Luke gonna do their thing. The Celtics are still gonna pull away with that win. I'm still holding on. Like it, it, it looks very dim. Because the Celtics who didn't shoot good from three at all in this game. What we were talking about earlier, we had P.J. Washington barking. Why, why they down? Yeah, one Yo. good series, now he's barking why they down. Bro, P.J., PJ we need to see more from P.J., man. Like, that's – and granted, he was – I did enjoy when he, he went, right, right. when when he attacked the rim, he did. One for six from three, bro. He was just the best. Like, one for he six. was just going crazy. Listen, going in a crazy. series like this, bro, we can't have that. And I listen. I'm not talking. I'm not. Even, I ain't even get to game one yet. I feel as though game one. Um, I mean, Jason Kidd has never been good in game one. They got blown out by the Clippers in game one. They got blown out by the OKC in game one. I think the only game one they won so far this year was the the Timberwolves. But they spanked the Timberwolves. I feel they were such on a roll from the OKC series. They spanked the Timberwolves. But Jason Kidd is notorious for not winning game ones. For taking that time to to understand what what matchups he's going to make. What and we've seen it. We've seen a lot of the switches happen, but the Celtics were just that good. Like it, it, I've been trying to tell you. They were just they, they, they were just that good. And I've seen it early on. Like, I've seen the Mavericks. One thing the Celtics do do is they're switching on every single screen. And what I've seen from the Mavericks is as soon as they, as soon as they, hit, the, the, as soon as they hit the screen, a couple shots just went straight up. They didn't give the Celtics any time to make the switch. And it was working early on. But when you're not hitting your shots, that's just a waste of possession at that point. But when the Mavericks are on, I can see them taking advantage of that, taking advantage of the fact that sometimes you're going to get an Al Horford on you. Well, Al Horford, the only person Al Horford is switching on is Kyrie. But, you know, you're going to get the Al Horford on, on, on your Luka, and, and Luka's going to cook him. I mean, Luka's been cooking everybody. Yo, Luka's unstoppable. Like First crazy. quarter, like, do you know how crazy of a score you have to be to, to switch from Jalen Brown to Jason Tatum and say, yes, that's the matchup I want? And absolutely going at Jason Tatum for an entire quarter. Every single time Luca scored, all you see is Jason Tatum talk with his teammates like, what am I supposed to do? I mean, Luca, we all know the signature. Luca back down, one-legged fade. It, it, it's money every time. Like, yo, if Luca were to win, win a ring this year, bro, I, yo, he'd be on pace to be like a top 10 player all time. I, I think that, that conversation might be a little more interesting. Yo, Luca's really – Because really these, like these first two games, we know what it is. Celtics. He's really like that. Is, is, is Luca on that trajectory? How old is he, 25? 25. Yo, if Luka wins the ring right now at 25, <laughs> bro. You got to think about it. And he still got some MVPs to come. Luka's going to win Luka's gonna or win. two or three. It, it's coming. He's only 25. He's not even. Mark, mark my words. After the playoff, playoff run that Luka has had, he is going to win MVP next year. Yo, the thing with the voters. He's not even considered in his prime yet. He's not, he hasn't he's touched like, his prime. He hasn't touched his prime. He has more All-NBAs all than, than, um, than Curry. Yeah, I, I forget who else is on the list. He has more than Dirk. He's he's the greatest yeah, Maverick of all time. And it's ah, mm, all right, Dirk. You want to ring? I ain't gonna disrespect you yet. Yeah, but but Luke, Luke is on that trajectory, bro. Nah, yeah. But like I said, if they win a ring this year, he's already the best player in, in Dallas Mavericks history, and he's gonna like start sneaking up into that upper echelon of oh, he, players. I, I was looking at he, he might be top five all time in all NBA first team. I know this is an old little. He's never made. Over, he's never made a second team. At twenty five, he was better than LeBron. And it wasn't even close. Like he, he was better yeah, than LeBron. We know and who. LeBron didn't have a he didn't have a ring at twenty five. If Luka can pull this ring off, I can't. But I, I can't even say that about Bron because <sighs> yo, I I wasn't watching Bron at twenty five just yet. We were in, that was a little bit before my time. We I was, I was watching Heat Bron is when I first started. But we got to put that into account. Like Bron at twenty five wasn't regarded as high as Luka. Like Luka's considered, yeah. if not the best, the second best player in the league right now. Luka, I don't man. know where you have him. I still Luka. got Joker number one, you, but Luka. Yeah, man. Easily number two. And Bede might give him a little fight, but this playoff success just isn't Yo, doing it for me. Don't sleep. My guy Giannis. Don't even look like Giannis. Listen, nah, this, this funk was terrible. My guy Giannis, <laughs> right after that finals, was regarded as the best player in the league. Where's Giannis, bro? It, which, it wasn't a good season for him. We, 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 we might talk about the Bucks a little bit later. Because that, 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 that season was ugly. But back to the Luka, like, discussion talk. So, yes, he's 25. I think he has five All-NBAs. Um, all, not, not, all, not, um, not all NBA third, not all NBA second, all NBA first team. At 25. 
first team at 25. He just needs an MVP. Like he, and he should be in the conversation. The Dallas Mavericks just don't be good enough. He's gonna have. He, he might have to be in the conversation every single listen, year. Listen, all granted, I don't even talk about injuries. He might have the longest prime we have ever seen. Yeah. If you, he, what you, you making all NBA oh, team oh, by Bron, 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 Bron. But what I'm talking about, still... all NBA first team. And I don't think he at got 20. LeBron, you know Bron. Nah, Bron, Bron. Right. Luka a little on the chunky side. Yeah, I don't think I, he'll do it for 20 years like Bron, but he you, definitely. You know why I'm talking a little the crazy? Success about, can outmatch LeBron's longevity, man. You know I'm talking a little crazy about Luka, because this is like the player that we've seen. Like we, yeah, we seen we seen Kobe. We all love yeah. Kobe, but we seen Kobe in the middle of his career. We seen LeBron in the middle of his career. We seen KD. You know, once we really start catching on five years into his career, same thing with a whole lot of players we have watched. We've seen Luka get drafted. We've all, everyone was talking about the trade with Trey Young. You know, I was watching that draft. You know, seen him, seen him. Yeah. Um, the discourse between him and him and him and uh Trey Young, where there was Trey Young has the crazy second half and they say he might want to rookie year. I didn't know who the hell he was when he drafted. Luca, oh, I, I was on it. I, I mean, I'll be, I'll be reading. I, yeah, I'm I a nerd. Be on the prospects and stuff, I kind of just stick to the NBA. But I, I didn't know who the hell Luca was. Listen, bro. I knew he was regarded as a top, like a, like a lottery pick, top three or whatever. But I wasn't really. On a lot of people say he should, he should have went one. But hey, DeAndre Ayton, so you, 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 you thought he should have been one, like before. I mean, DeAndre Ayton was so good at Arizona, and like they, they. So you knew about how good Luca was. Before I knew how good Luca was. You knew he was gonna be tough. You I, I knew Luca was gonna be tough. Like but no, no, I knew. <laughs> Everyone, what are you saying? I knew Luca was going to be tough, but no one knew he was going to be this. You can't predict being this good. Yeah. You know who else? You know who else we might see? Listen, the one thing about being a goat in the NBA, you got to average twenty year rookie year. You have to. All the goats have done it, except Kobe. Kobe's a little different. But LeBron done it. Tim Duncan's done. It. He's one of the goats we've ever we've seen in this game. I think Shaq's done it. Michael Jordan's done it. Victor Webinyama has, has he, he, he averaged yeah. twenty his rookie year, bro. Yo, Victor Webinyama after that All Star break, Damn, bro. he was like on minutes restriction in the beginning. Of the Victor yeah. Webinyama after that All Star break is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Yo, Webinyama is crazy. Yo, Vic's gonna be nasty. Victor, Vic versus Luca in the future is gonna be. Crazy. That's what makes me so mad about being a, te- a fan of a team is because I want to be a I want to be a Wimby fan so bad, bro. Like a Wimby, oh like he's like. He's really good at basketball. Yeah. Is that you? Who calling you, bro? Yo, what's good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yo, Julio, we recording right now, yo. Yeah. Just, just give us a quick, quick five second. Um, have you watched the NBA Finals this year? Give it, give us a two second prediction or two second like. What have you seen, bro? What do you think is going to happen? Yo, where, your, where your boy Kyrie at? Hey, man. Respectfully, I might have to go with what Carter was saying. Celtics in four. Just because. In four? The been clapping. <laughs> Hold on. The way, been, the way Jalen, Jalen Brown been clapping, bro, he definitely got paid what he deserved, man. That man knows, knows what he's doing, man. Just saying, the Celtics squad really is pretty nasty this year. So, I can you, definitely man. see him in four. Hey, man, man. Yo. Who do you got winning the uh, NBA Finals MVP? Um, people projecting uh, Jason Tatum. Who you for got, For some bro? reason, even though he's he's playing an average game, but I still think Jalen Brown deserves that uh, that MVP, bro. So you predict Jalen Brown? I think Jalen Brown could win that MVP. All right, bro. All right, we're going to catch up with you after we finish recording. All right, yo. All right. Uh, I feel like Greg Popovich. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first ever calling we ever had on this podcast, bro. Keep that in there. Yeah, keep that in there. That's the we have to. That's I mean, it's, it's going to sound good. But what Julio just said, if we do end up cutting it out, our boy Julio just called. Um, and he said he had Jalen Brown as your Finals MVP. But do you, do you agree with Julio? I don't know, man. The way Drew Holiday looked last game, <laughs> you agree with Julio? <laughs> Drew Holiday. Drew, Drew Holiday. What did he shoot? Seventy six percent from the field. You know Drew Holiday shoot. You know Drew Holiday shoot right now. Bro, his shooting splits are almost seventy percent and forty five percent. Gordon, Gordon, the other team's best player. Yo, he. <laughs> He's not getting talked about enough for this final MVP, but he's tough. He's been going crazy. Um, but realistically, it's gonna be JT or JB. I don't know who the hell they're gonna pick. They gave the Eastern Conference Finals MVP to JB, so maybe they'll just. I don't know. JB's been playing better. Drew Holiday had himself the best game in the series. So I mean, far. I mean, Jason Tatum's averaging almost a triple double. 
His shooting splits are absolutely terrible. I don't yeah, think you yeah. can give it to somebody who's yeah. average. He might not be shooting the ball, but he's doing everything. He's shooting thirty percent from the field. I don't care if he average fifteen he's assists. Board, he's playmaking. And that's never even really been his body playmaking, but he's been he's just showing out. Hey, um, he's going. He's been sitting. I mean, Luca was frying him, but <laughs> Yo, Luka. it's Luca. You know what I mean? But he's, listen, bro. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We need to see more games. Um, series gonna be over quick, so they need to. They might have to cook up. Not the Mavs and seven. All right. I'm tired of he don't want to bet on he don't want to bet on the game or nothing. He just keep picking the Mavs. Like, he don't want to know, bro. He talk, didn't, he talk, didn't root yeah, him. Nah, nah. You want to talk about bets? Yo, I'm down like 120 dollars. Talk, talk about playoffs. talk about the bets you made so far. This this playoffs, bro. Yo, I bet it on Phoenix to beat the Timberwolves. How much you put on it, bro? <laughs> bet it on Phoenix to beat the Pacers. The Knicks should have won. The Pacers <laughs> are trash. Of course they got swept. Whatever. What else I bet on? I, I bet they, on I, I bet on swept. Denver to beat Minnesota. Fucking Denver, yo, they whoop my team ass. You know, I'm thinking Joker about that. I'm supposed to never go run. He gets fucked up by the Timberwolves. Curse and then what? Well, I bet it on the Timberwolves for Mavericks. And then the fucking Mavericks fucked them up, bro. Nah, the worst one was the Suns one. They got swept. They didn't even get the team. And like, I don't know why I thought the Suns was about to. Nah, I don't know. I don't know either. This, I, ain't like, I, I ain't like the Suns all year, bro. I think I was just biased, Katie. Like, I don't, I don't <laughs> I like, like the books. Suns I'm all year. I'm a Lakers year. fan, so. Like Both making mad, bro. But KD, KD's that guy. I don't even care. KD. I thought he was about to just KD. fry him. He, I mean, he was cooking. KD's going to do KD, but for some reason, KD could do KD and the rest Bradley of his team. Bill, like, Brad, Bill Bradley. The worst contract in the NBA. That's, that's what that is. Is it the worst contract in the NBA? He has a no trade clause. He got 50 mil to be a third option. Wasn't it like a crazy ass one, though? Like Tobias, Him. right? Tobias, Tobias is a free agent. Now he is a free agent now. Bradley, Bradley Bill has the worst contract in the league. trying to run it back with that squad, man. They they have no option. Bradley Beal's not going to accept the trade nowhere else, bro. Lakers, <laughs> He's not going to accept the trade nowhere else, bro. It's going to be Lakers for me now. All right. But let's move on, bro, because we know what it is. Hold on, hold on. Who you got with the finals MVP? Jalen Brown. Going? Right now, I got Jalen Brown. You got Jalen. So, set in stone, Jalen Brown is winning finals MVP? Yes. I thought he just said Mavs in seven, though. But if I'm saying, so I, I got Mavs in why? seven. Why? But, <laughs> no. All right. You're going to try to trap me. We were talking about the Celtics. We were why? talking about why? if the Celtics win. You could. We were talking about. Why ain't Luca his MVP? <laughs> yo, the man. All right, the way yo, the way Luca playing. Y'all remember 2016 when when the Warriors was up three one and they said LeBron might still win Finals MVP. LeBron, that's crazy. how I'm feeling, bro. Yeah, relax. <laughs> how I'm feeling, bro. Luca, <laughs> Luca is doing that. Y'all remember what he said earlier about not being a master? <laughs> oh. I remember I said earlier about Luca being the dude that we didn't see coming to the league and, and do it, bro. Hey, Luca. Luca, all right. Respectfully, I I was on the train of people that said Luca should have won MVP this year. You can be happy. Cause it I was. It should have been realistically. It should have been Embiid. He got hurt. Well, all right, come on. Embiid, Embiid got hurt. He Embiid got was hurt. Embiid was a lot. So I think I think it. I think Jokic was the best player in the regular season. I think Shea should have won it though. I feel like he was so Shea, consistent. Shea was not. Shea was good. Number one seeds. Consistent. Give it a shot, but Jokic is the best player, so I can't. I, but it's, yo, Luca was yo, really good, but the Mavs oh my didn't god, win it. yo, Luca, Luca after the trade deadline, some of the crazy win, hoops I've. He was definitely going under the radar. It was they the first. It was the first, it was the first half. half. It was the first half. They just didn't but, start off good. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, they weren't winning enough at all. He's winning MVP. Like, he's winning MVP. He's going to have so much conversation around him, so much hype. Like, even what they do with Jason Tatum now, Jason Tatum's never going to win MVP just because of the conversation around his name. He got. Greatest season you ever see. Was he in, I think, what? he Was he in any real conversation this year? This is one of Jason Tatum's best seasons ever that we've seen so far in his career. He wasn't really in the headlines a lot this year. He was, exactly, because of the conversation around his name. The conversation around Luca's name is going to be pretty good this, next year. Like, Luke, all right, bro, you playing. You playing. Mm. You playing. Yo, I ain't playing. I know Luca nasty. <laughs> I know Luca nasty. No, but I'm probably making mad noise at the mic. I know who can ask, but it's just not his year to win a chip yet. Nah, it's not. It's not. It's not his year. It's, Every superstar starts. I, I'm gonna still hold on to Mavs seven as long as I can. Michael's losing in the first round. But LeBron man is drinking the Mavs. Lucas aren't into this crazy team with the the Boston Celtics. They just too deep. They too experienced. It's their time. Hey. They've been there too many times. It's their year to win it finally. I say Luca should should give away some of his money. For them to get a real shooter on this team, like a real shooter on this team, I'm not talking about um, Derrick Jones Jr. having the best shooting year of his career. No, 
They need somebody who's been doing it for the next like, five. They need it. Like, I, and I, granted, they tried. Like, Tim Hardaway, supposed to be a shooter. I think they had Seth Curry, supposed to be a shooter. They were they didn't play as good enough on the other sides of the basketball to, to be able to stay on the court. Someone who I extremely like, and I don't you don't, you don't really watch college hoops like that, right? Mm-hmm. Someone who I extremely like coming out of Tennessee is Don Don Connect. He's gonna be a top ten pick. Matt, there's no chance that the Mavericks can get him. But if Luca ever played alongside if Don Connect ever played alongside Luka Doncic, he might average twenty just shooting threes. Like, yo, you gotta look at some Don Connect highlights. I think I sent a video to you. Tough bro. Yo, you talk about just catch and shoot. Anywhere on the floor, it does not matter. Fading away, strong hand, like just buckets. It's just bottoms every time he shoot the ball. But let's move on. <laughs> yo, I see, yo, I'm tired of seeing that in the comments, bro. <laughs> every sports kind of like I be trying to look in the comments, see what kind of crazy stuff people be talking about. Celtics fans talking crazy now. That's, yeah, that's I hate Celtics. Celtics. I hate Celtics fans, bro. So annoying. But I, bro, I see that Clay thing every time, and I feel, I feel bad, bro, because Clay. Being as as Man, good as look, the he good bro. Tough, but he, he do talk a lot of shit. He, now he talk about is his rings, and now he he, he the unk he the unk that he was so good in his past that now he's gonna make sure you you remember. But he he, he what well, he got two ACL injuries. He I mean he's not as good as he was. I think he. Okay, was him, crazy. I thought they was gonna ride into the sunset, but him and Draymond is just when they confidence up, but they still think they got a shot. They don't, got, they they don't got a guys, chance, but, uh, and they don't got a chance. Not, the Warriors. Mm-hmm. Kaminga look good. The Warriors, as is right now, are playing team. Fun fact: I talked to Kaminga in high school. He didn't want to go. What was that? Um, it was that uh, the Patrick school. Yeah, Patrick school versus. Weird. They were going against TCA. I didn't, I I, I don't yeah, think I don't think I didn't want to go. I think I couldn't go. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I think yeah, I yeah, couldn't so. go. Yeah. Listen, we talking about Jersey hoops, bro. <sighs> Kyrie, you got out here. You you letting us down, but yo, yo, Miles Powell versus Isaiah Briscoe in high school. Crazy, crazy, and my and yo, uh, Nas Reed went and out Matt, here. Nas Reed was tough. Yo, not not three for Rosa Catholic. Nas Reed was tough. Yo, yo, man. tough. Nas Reed was crazy. Shout out, yo. You heard Jamir doing another year at FSU. He going back. Yeah, yeah he going back. Well, shout out our boy John Mayer. Oh, he hopefully he make the lead next year. That'd be tough. But all right, I want to get on two quick things, three quick things before we finish this. Um. This this thing. Last basketball thing related, and then the other two questions is just BS. Or you can ask your question after. JJ Redick as the next Lakers head coach. <laughs> JJ JJ Redick as the yo, next Lakers head coach. LeBron really out here putting the best boys on. Like, yo, hey. LeBron really is the godfather of basketball. Like, no, he just got JJ Redick a job as the head coach. Like, his, his, yo, granted, he starts Mar- podcasts with them out of nowhere. They're like best friends. I ain't even know they were that close. I knew they was cool, but I didn't know they was like. It's a podcast cool? Podcast. I didn't think there was, I didn't think there was podcast cool. Mind the game. It's a cool, it's a cool podcast. Now all of a sudden, he's about to be the Lakers head coach. Cool. After Dan Hurley rejected it, though, because he was originally going to pick Dan Hurley. Nah, UConn. You got to stay with UConn, bro. That's that's a, that's, that's a dynasty he could, he could pretty much build. But yeah, yeah I mean. That's what I mean. I, I, JJ Redder knows what he's talking about. I like watching his podcast. And but the thing is, J, yo. Like he, he's well spoken, right. too, but. JJ Redick, JJ Redick is, as we know, he's friends with LeBron. LeBron is 40 years old. J.J. Reddick was, what, 35, 36? Well, Darvin Ham was younger than LeBron, too. But, where, like, do you think they're going to be able to separate that? Like, J.J. Reddick, no, do you think, coach. Yeah, like, coach. do you think J.J. Reddick could, could drill into Anthony Davis and, and LeBron James? LeBron's a coach. LeBron's <laughs> do you see the, the Lakers giving up on going on, the, another team going on a 10-0 run and J.J. Reddick calling timeout? Laughing at bro. bro like, my, you got a Naruto stick in that. My fault. Don't, don't watch Naruto. I finished I finished the whole series before you. Wait, wait, hold on. What are we saying? I finished the whole series. I tried to put him on in high school and he did not want to do it, bro. He's never tried to put me on Naruto. Bro, what are you talking about? Bro, you lying. <laughs> you lying. He's lying, bro. Yo, name me five characters. Five characters? All right, great. I haven't nah, seen nah, it nah, in nah. years. Five characters not on Team Seven. All right, let's go. Anthony Rock Lee. He was the goat. <laughs> you haven't seen it forever. Give me Neji. Neji is my favorite. Neji is my favorite character. Yo, names. I cannot lie to you. You've seen it recently, <laughs> though. Hold on. I haven't seen Naruto I in. Told you in you're lying, bro. No, I haven't seen Naruto in six years. That'd be cool. Six years. I haven't I seen Naruto. That, but yo, Naruto is unforgettable. I binged it in one summer, bro. I've, you know how much TV I've watched in six years. I can't you tell you. Things, I can't tell you the characters in Suits, and I just finished the series. 
Yeah, not that cool. I listen to music and I don't know the lyrics. Like I like nigga comparing lyrics to <laughs> no, but I'm saying like I don't have that kind of anime character. I don't have that kind of memory. Like I can tell you eye for eye, like who Nah bro, it's cause you wanted to see Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi. Well, obviously, those are the people you've seen the most. But I don't like you know, if I want to talk about like Toby or Obito Stop or if lying, I to... bro. Stop lying. You just gonna Toby they're the same person. Yeah, Toby Obito. Yeah, I mean I haven't seen it forever. <laughs> I met Madara. I met Madara Uchiha. I met Madara. I met Toby and Madara. Yo, I'm exposing myself. I, I finished the whole series six years ago. I binged it. What are you talking about? I binged it in one summer. But I did watch the whole series, though. All right. All right, we back once again. I want to talk about the James Harden video, bro. So say you at my wedding, right? Because y'all know this is my son. He going to be at my wedding. Uh, Say you at my wedding, and, and and for some reason I let you have a plus one. I, I ain't just letting anybody come. I give you a plus one, right? And shorty, shorty catch the flowers, and she look at you. You you looking the same? You making the same face as Jim Hart? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Like, like, say you maybe be texting for like a month or two, and y'all cool, whatever. And she catch the flowers, and she, and, and everybody starts celebrating. All the boys, all the boys, uh, hyping it up, and she start hugging on you. You <laughs> enjoy the moment. I ain't even going. Look, I ain't gonna make a face. I'm gonna enjoy the moment. That's it. As long as she don't bring it up again, I'm chilling. Yo, know. that that change is hard. Hard is hard. hard. <laughs> Yo, hard is set himself. Hard is moving. Yo, Harden set himself up. Uh, Harden was really like that, bro. I do got one final question to close the pod, though. What's your favorite video game of all time? That's and where easy. do you think this, before you even answer that, easy. what's the state of video games right now? Like, what, what do you think the state of video games sits at currently? I haven't been tapped in recently, so I haven't really been playing the game. I know they beg me all the time to get on the game, but I haven't been playing it like that at all. Whole bunch of free games out right now that people are talking about. Yeah, people, I feel like people right now just be playing the free games. So I got six trailer drop. We got GTA six coming soon. So maybe I'll start tapping it soon. But as of late, I haven't really been playing. Elden Ring been hot. Yeah, Spider Man not that. that long ago. Um, it's a few games more uh, popping right now. I just haven't been tapping. Yo, you you hearing that Fortnite's like finally falling off? Fortnite ain't never gonna fall off. Yo, it's probably not. No, there's been a lot of crazy games. Like that's probably. They're, they're like, this is the first time they had like a decrease, decrease in like people playing. Bro, that shit got too sweaty. Was, I, yo, I couldn't, I couldn't keep up. Yo, when they still, yeah, I couldn't they, keep they up. They got way too sweaty. I couldn't Fortnite, keep up. I get that for now. Nah, right. best game of all time is Black Ops 2. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. If y'all ain't never played that game before, that's tough. Talk that's, about it, bro. Yo, Talk what? about Call of Duty Black, Black, Ops Black Ops 2. 2. Yo, Black Ops 2. Talk about it, bro. The zombies, all right, I'm not going to say they have the best zombies, but they like. BO3 zombies. They paved the way. Like, yo. They paved the way for BO3. Yo, BO3 zombies. BO3 definitely had the best zombies Oh my time. God. Black Cops 2 paved that I'm way. A, so I, I'm going I'm to play zombies. Mob of the Dead, Tonight. Barry, Origins, High Rise, Transit, Survival Town. And All the right. multiplayer we had, though. Yo, the guns was fire. The yo. SMT, the Scorpion, <laughs> yo. the AN-94, yo. the v was fire. <laughs> Man. Yo, remember the first time we played zombies and um. Like I, I was saying, like the bus left me and all that. Like I, yo, yo, Bill, two, all right, Bill two is the first shooting game I ever played in my life. I ain't going like he trashes so, like games in general. Like I am not he always what been, I'm not he always been an ass so. I'm, I'm good at man. We gonna try to get a, we gotta get a video of us playing, playing, playing like two K or something. We could play two K. My bus is ass. He we really trash. Like, like he, he, he play hella games. He's not no, good at no, none of them. No, 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 none of them. Yo, he all been right. trash since we was. 10, bro. Like, I didn't play shooting games. All right, imagine never playing a shooting game, and then your boy's like, Yo, let's get on BO2. Yo, this dude, I had like a point one yo, KD. I think we played one zombies game. Yo, he had like my first zombies game. Ever. Down, my first like, zombies bro, game. How ever. you going down 50 times? We playing Black Ops 3. <laughs> Shadows of Evil. You was already yeah. a little bit marinated. Like, you no, not zombies. Not zombies. Man, no, not zombies. You went down like another 35 times on Shadows of Evil. But then after I got the hang of it, yo, we, bro, we had, we literally had to kill ourselves to get off one. Still trash. I mean, who's who's carrying you? Who's robbing you? Mean? I, had, I had my, my train of zombies and I was doing what I was doing. And then started cutting other people's stuff, man. No, bro. He, yo, he is the master of taking, uh, messing up people's trains, bro. He yeah, was just, he, bro. You would just run across the front of somebody. We don't talk about sports games. It's two K. I mean, yes, sir. What about two K? He asked. He's never beat me in two K. 
No, that's, I don't game think game that's a lot. That is such a lot. That is such a lot. You probably got one game. It's such a lot. Probably got one game. Appreciate y'all going, yo, I promise y'all, if you play 2K for a video, see. Are we gonna see? I'm winning by more than 20 points. He's not winning by more than 20 I'm points. I'm winning by more than 20 crazy? points. crazy? 20 points. He's showing off, yo. <laughs> yo, 20 <laughs> points? If, I, yo, if I'm losing to somebody, by t- I don't think, bro, if I'm losing to somebody in the bro, play you now. How many times he left the game? I'd be like, yo, we used to play hella my team, bro. I used to have to beg My first 2K? Of, what are you saying? My first ever 2K. Yo, yo, yo all right. So I am new. I was always I new to time. gaming. I was that was my first two oh, K. Yes, the better. Black Ops you talking about was my first Black Ops, and the zombies talking about was the first time I ever played zombies. Yeah, that's that Black Ops thing. Yo, like it, yeah, it, it, it's a that. learning curve in gaming. Dog. What you saying? He been playing his whole life. He just, you know, I'm decent now. Mistakes. Decent now. He played me MLB. I'm decent. Like I'm, I'm confident. I'm so I don't play MLB. Right, but I'm, I'm probably confident MLB. I probably give him run for his money. In the no, you won't. I would spend. I would no hit you. I play that too. I probably whatever. All right. My what's my favorite video game of all time? I'm Yo, shout out to Sonic Heroes, too. Sonic Heroes is tough. Yeah, Sonic you know? Riders? No, no about you that. You ever played Sonic, Sonic Riders? Riders? It was like a little hoverboard game? Yeah. Sonic yeah. Riders was that. Yo, all right, so yeah. favorite video games, I might go a little older. Because, like, I'm telling you, like, when I was when I grew up playing the game, I was always, like, a system behind. I was a game behind. So I, I was never really up to date until, like, high school. That's why I was so trash. But I brought Gran Turismo. I played Gran Turismo ridiculously. Like, I, I would custom. I would, bro. I, that's why I fell in love with the Lancers, with the Subies. Like, I love cars. I just, I just love the cars from that game. What else I used to play a lot? Uncharted? I used to play a lot of single player games. Because, like, <laughs> I, like, I didn't. I was new to gaming. Yo, Assassin's Creed was fire. Mario Party, bro. I'm a dog. Yo, Mario, Mario Party. Party was crazy. I'm a dog. I just love Mario, Mario Party. Party. Even though it's all luck, I'm a dog. I like the minigame. I'm good at me. Yeah, you, you just came in here nasty at Mario Party. Like, the minigame, I'm. Yo, you're not good at the mini games either. Yes, I am. Yo, yo, yo. Lying, when's the yo. last time we played Mario Party? Not that long ago. Yes, bro. bro. Was a bust grip. Ass. They got a mini game spot on there, bro. I was running shit on that mini game. He was not tough. Yes, yes I am tough. I'm tough. I'm tough. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. He's not Listen, tough. I spent my childhood being a nerd. So like, if you want to talk NBA, like I know NBA history. If you want to talk, happy, if you want to talk MLB, I know MLB he history. Happy. He was definitely an MLB guy. Definitely. I know MLB history. Like I, I'm trying. I, I'm that's that's a. Bro, I'm a nerd. Like I know I know stuff about like just random stuff. Bro, I'm not a nerd. You know sports. How I be a nerd? Because I didn't really play. I'm the nerd. I didn't bro. play I, video I, games I'm that much. Comic and uh. I, I was. I didn't watch comics. I used to watch. The, I used to watch like the cartoons. I never really read comics. Yeah, cartoon. I mean, I, I, I just watch videos. I was a sports nerd. How about that? Sports nerd. I watched college sports too. Like I just watched sports. Yeah, bro. Anything else before we close this off, bro? That you had to say? Or oh yeah, I want to do the. Uh, oh, you talking basketball, bro? Hang it up. I'm talking you wanna hang up basketball. You done talking ball? We could probably say that for the next. If you like, if you got basketball related question, we can say that for the next one. Bro. Mm. All right, ask no, what you ask what right, you right, go ask, bro. Best. We'll see it for the next segment. We're gonna hear his top five players in the playoffs. We'll say that. I guess we'll say it for the next segment because the playoffs will probably be done by the time we record the next video. So yeah, I think it'll be better that time anyway. But uh, what else did I want to? Yeah, how long do you think this episode has been so far? Oh, uh, you don't have to mind editing. You might want to Yo, so much editing, bro. Yo, if for the people that see this on YouTube and you probably watching at this time, we had so many. We we've had a decent amount of interruptions. Cut this out, bro. You don't need to talk to the camera. Anymore, yeah, bro. but yo, it's it's been Rick and Rev. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you saying? <laughs> All right. What you what you think about Deadpool and Wolverine coming out? Deadpool Wolverine. The expectations on that. I feel like, but I feel like when they tease a movie for so long, like the, for me, the hype dies down. Like I don't, like I, I don't know how to explain it. Like I, we've been hearing about this movie for so long that like now it's coming. It's, I'm like, I know it's gonna be a good movie, but like the Deadpool, like I don't know. Are you wilding? It's gonna be a good movie. I can't wait for the movie. I don't know if it's gonna be. A good but movie, and I also like think, said, like it's not the Marvel. Is selling that's what I'm saying. That the Marvel has not been good recently. But Nor has DC. But, no superhero movies are good. Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool alone carries. And they got, yeah, but we've seen that. I it's... think it'd be fire. I don't know what the concept is. I think they're rumoring, like, what are the rumors? I don't know. Hulk versus Wolverine. If they made a movie, Hulk oh, versus Wolverine, no, they made yo, that, when I was little, that series slapped, bro. My God, but I think it's basically was, saying, uh, like, they can't die. They're both trying to, like, BC gonna take over next year, and then they all wait. team up. James Gunn about to put us back on the map. Marvel's dead. Yo, get rid of Flash. DC forever. 
Flash, the greatest superhero of all time. Yo, if you watched Flash in the movie theaters and you enjoyed it, I would cash up you a thousand dollars. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I would cash up you everything. Yo, Marvel dropped Morbius. Like, they dropped Morbius. Yo, Morbius. <laughs> yo, they dropped Eternals. Morbius, Madam Web, yo, Thor, Eternals. Thor, Love and Thunder. Thor. Yo, yo I'm, all right. Flash so, I love Thor, bro. And Hold Flash on. is better than Black Adam. That's DC. Yo, you Black Adam? we should save. We got to save this. Let's talk, we got to talk about superhero movies and stuff later, bro. Because we could go on for a little bit about the movies and everything recently. I don't want to save this for the end of an episode that ain't nobody leaving gonna be watching. But you know, just know we we gonna have some segments about some superheroes. That's what we gonna do. Hoops, superheroes. What else we what else we gonna be talking about? Just random stuff. Baseball and football coming up soon. I mean baseball on right now. Baseball on right now. Too tapped in. I mean Base- my, my Phillies the best team in the league. Base- baseball on right now. Don't sleep on don't sleep on the Phillies. You gonna Yankees K? Yo, if, if we build a decent fan base, they gonna notice a trend. And y'all going to try to call me out. But I got an explanation for every single team I like. It's been Rick and Riv. Another podcast. Sure. See you. Howdy.